Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. So I went to two estate, three estate sales today. I went to three estate sales today and a flea market. <music> I didn't take any footage, uh, but I am going to share with you what I picked up. So the first part I filmed in the back of my car, so I'm going to insert that footage here. That was from the estate sale that I just happened upon. It was the first day. They had some really cool vintage things, um, reasonable prices on a lot of stuff, and other stuff was a little bit higher than I would have liked to have paid, and, and at least one thing was higher than I know the retail's for because I had one and researched it to sell it. So anyway, that's always fun when you come across something and you know, wow, I know what that sells for. It's not always the case. And I don't look things up at the sales. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and insert that footage here for you to see what I picked up there. So I just stopped at a little estate sale and I picked up this Fanny Farmer's Candies box. I'll save that until next year, um, Valentine's Day. Picked up an amazing beautiful beaded purse it's in really nice condition got that got this beautiful cake pan i think i paid a dollar for the cake pan look at my little lammy i don't know what happened to little lammy's face he got some color on him but uh adorable he's a little squeaky toy he's not squeaking though Some little pans and then I got this box I got this box for two dollars and in it is this little milk glass jar a finial look at that ornate finial isn't that beautiful I love that and some soldering wire there's some more soldering wire in there this will be cool in some sort of an assemblage piece this is junk more junk little junk pieces a little piece of copper maybe yeah I think that's a piece of copper cool the box alone is worth two dollars and then I got all the other stuff in there that's fun. Look at the loose sight handle on this. It's a nice, nice condition. It's a beautiful ice chest. That's really nice. Wasn't that fun? Yes, yeah, so I got a whole bunch of really fun stuff there. I'm, I'm real happy with that. I didn't get a massive quantity of things, but I think I got some um, nice things. Um, the cake pan and the little... Uh, loaf pans, those are going to stay with me. Uh, the loaf pans uh, for art. Um, and then a lot of the bits that were in that box, the box will probably stay with me. You guys know how much I love boxes. Anyway, so I also stopped at the flea market this morning. And at the flea market, I picked up one thing. And um, I don't think I've shown it. Maybe I'll remember to take a picture. Maybe I won't. But it was one of those metal um, record holders, I think, with all the little spaces for records. Um, I think I'm going to use that in the studio as a drying rack. I picked this up today at the flea market. Yeah. And um, also, let's go ahead and I will show you the other things that I picked up. Hold on. All right, so I happened on an accidental estate sale, one that I did not see advertised in um, estatesales.net. It was a family run. And you never know with family run estate sales because sometimes the prices are good. Sometimes the prices are high. Sometimes they um, know what something sold on eBay and then they're wishing for the moon. Um, they had a really cool piece at this family run estate sale. They had a left in cookie jar, which probably 
Yeah, if if I hadn't already spent so much money this weekend, I might have picked it up. They were asking $150 for it. I probably could have taken or got it for cheaper than that. And um, no solds on it and only, um, and I checked this out after I went to the car, no solds on it and only one um, being offered and they were offering it around $300. But I kind of got the impression that this the listing had been there for a while. So... Yeah, anyway, again, I had already spent so much money, I just, I couldn't do it. But, um, I did pick this up. I know you guys think, well, how did I pass on the left and cookie jar and then I pick up these unusual things? I picked up Pudgy the Beaver. <laughs> Actually, I picked it up as a gift. And I seriously hope that she appreciates this. But do you guys know Jen the Pudgy Picker? I'm going to send this to Jen. <laughs> So that's why I picked it up. But I thought it was really cute. It's um, 1963. Pudgy the Beaver. Yeah, it's fun. I got that there. I picked this up. Um, this was a silver cloth. Actually, the um, embroidery is down there. The silver S is coming apart loose a little bit. But it's actually in really, um, I mean, it's clean. In nice condition probably because they only used it to polish their silver um, so I think I paid a dollar for that and then I picked up a bag of craft items this is for um, Christmas you know assemblage making or something if I decide to do that hey I said it at the third estate sale I went to I will have to tell you that I had a bit of an anxiety attack at that sale um, and they may even need some feedback We'll see if I actually get around to doing it because, I mean, in a nice way, of course. Um, they had their checkout in their, um, like, in their kitchen area, like, by the family room. There was no door there. It was packed. And I'd say 20 people in this little 10 by 20 area. And um, they didn't have all the windows in the house open. And I didn't feel comfortable there at all. As a matter of fact, I really toyed with the idea of taking off and leaving. Because I think that the masks give everybody a false sense of security. Um, I don't think they protect us completely. That's my two cents. And I just want some space from people. And I want ventilation. And um, there was none. So, um, but I did make it through. There was a gentleman that came in behind me who was very kind um didn't say anything to me but he maintained his distance from me and by doing so kept everybody else <laughs> he kept the line back so I really appreciated that um anyway at this second estate sale and well I don't know if it was the second estate sale let's try that again anyway at this estate sale I picked up in the basement look these are vintage, made in China, but they're vintage. You can tell, I can tell by the tarnishing on them. And they only wanted 25 cents a sprig for them. And it, today was half price day, so I got both of them for 25 cents. And these will look really cute in um, Christmas crafts. So I picked those up. I also picked up this gorgeous pin. Absolutely stunning pin. And it was two fifty. There's no stones missing or anything, and it is their prong set, and it is signed. So I'll have to look at a later date, and maybe I'll be able to tell you who it was. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to sell that or keep that. You all know that I like shiny things. It's been a long time since I've really picked up any rhinestone type stuff, um, but I do have a lot of it, so I might be willing to part with it. We'll see. I picked up another rhinestone piece as well. This is really pretty. Look at that stunning piece. I don't remember how much I paid for that. It wasn't, you know, maybe a couple bucks. So these things I picked up for package toppers because, yeah, I always need them. Thank you cards. Those were probably a couple dollars, I think. I picked up um, Heart to Heart, the Conversation Cards, first edition. Those were 50 cents. Actually, they might have been 25 cents because I think it was half price. I mean, everything was half price. And then, these were probably 50 cents. 
because they're marked a dollar. I don't think all of them are here. It's a beautiful box, first of all, but there's a whole bunch of greeting cards and they are for art, art related stuff. Oh, I got some more jewelry. It was hiding in the bottom of the bag. I thought their jewelry prices were pretty reasonable. Um, you know, and being the last day and everything, I think I did pretty well. Um, pick this up. Oops, let's put that down. I picked this up. Can you see it? It's pretty. And this has um, a place for you to put, you know, you could wear it as a pendant or a pen. I like that a lot. And then this one. And most of these were between two and three dollars today, being the second day of the sale. Is that it? Nope, there's something else. It's like I feel something else in the bag. These are fun. Aren't those fun? They're little skulls. Very cute. And I think that they're I think they're artists made if they're on the same card that um you know they came on. So that's what I got today. I didn't film in any of the places. It actually was kind of liberating to not film in any of the places. And um, yeah, so I did pretty good, I think. You know, it was an overwhelming success. I didn't come back with a whole bunch of stuff to resell. But I did pick up some things, and I really enjoyed the day, and that's all a part of it. So thanks for joining me, everybody. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I love your comments, and please share the channel also as well. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.